Hello everyone and welcome to part one of this uh, Tintin Seascape tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to make this scenescape created by Hergé in the Linclair uh, design process or Linclair uh, method. And yeah, let's get straight to this. So this is a part one of maybe a three part series of uh, designing this entire scene. First of all, let's start with the background yay big and we're gonna take the color straight from the scene so that will be our sky we want the stroke to be around 0.5 perfect now one thing to note in the link layered movement is or in the link layer uh, method is that all of the lines are actually of the same thickness so from the boat from Tintin from Milu and all of the waves all of these features are actually the same Thickness, which is interesting. So the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to define the shape of the waves in the background. We can do this anyway. So we're going to use the pen tool, and we'll go like this. So you can make this design however you'd like. Just kind of create a wavy outline out there, and then make sure that it fits to this here and close the path. Perfect. Now we make sure that we have the same stroke and we change the background color to white. So this is going to be the outline of our waves. Now if we zoom into here, we see all these lines, they're the same thickness, but one thing that's added is that they're actually rough. There's almost no smooth lines anywhere in this image. It's difficult to see, it's not a good quality image, but you see these little cuts, these little crisps. So, in order to make this effect, Illustrator has a nice little function called Roughen. We can go to Effect, and then Distort and Transform, and Roughen. But, we run into an issue. And it's that Roughen is applied to the entire shape itself. And that's not something that we want. So, we need Roughen just to apply on this top shape right here. If we click on this, what we're going to do is we're going to copy it. And... No, we're not. I'm sorry. We're going to use the uh, direct select tool, actually. And make sure that the background is locked, because I don't want to select that. And select just the top of the line right here. We're going to press shift. Make sure that the paths aren't selected here. So now it's only these lines that are selected. And I'm going to press control C and control shift V. And now I've copied this shape right here. We're going to give it no fill. And basically, I've created two instances of only this line. Now, when I go to Effect, and let's zoom in a bit. Here. When I go to Effect, Distort, and Roughen, well, now it only applies to this one line. That's the effect that we want. Um, I found that to get this kind of little etching, the best is to use Absolute small pixel size, so not a lot of uh, jagged movement, and a lot of detail, maybe around 30 or so per inch. And it gives this little kind of roughness, roughness to it all. Let's drop the size to about one, like that. A bit more detail, perfect. And if we take a look at like that, you see that we don't have any more smooth lines, I think. Now, our background feature, our background color is still showing up, so we can just make sure that that actually has no stroke. And now we have that feature in there. The next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to outline the shape of our waves using the pen tool. And we're just going to select kind of the top of the crest. And imagine that this wave, we have to imagine yourself which way you want your waves to go. But in this case, we have a wave right here, and it's coming down in front of the rest of the waves, just like here. It comes down in front of these waves. So we use one anchor point and maybe to here. Click and hold and follow. So now we can imagine this wave is continuous, continuously followed along this curve. Make sure that it has a color and no fill. Perfect. Ah, and make sure that it is the same thickness as all of these other lines. And the same goes with the other waves. 
We want this wave to come down right here. We want this wave to be separate from that one. Again, you just draw your lines as you see fit to kind of recreate the scene that you want. Oops. Perfect, like that. And this could be another wave in the background. And that's how we start our scene. And in the second part, we're going to learn about using the pencil tool to draw these low shapes, these kind of dendritic path patterns within the waves. And that will be uploaded in uh, just a little bit. So if you like this, uh, please subscribe and uh, hope you have a good day.